Hi everyone, my name is Matthias. In this video I will teach you how to find the notes everywhere on the guitar with a quick, easy technique. So at first let me demonstrate how it works. So let's say you have to find another F note, which is here on the low E string. So we have an F note here, here, here and here, 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 here. You have to know a few things for this. So the first thing what you have to know um, is, is the name of the strings. So E, A, D, G, B, E again. And the, the notes on the low E string and the A string. So. Here is the low E string, F note, G note, A note, B, C, D, and E again. And actually it's, it's a really basic knowledge um, because when you play the chord, doesn't matter if, 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 it's a, if it's a basic C chord or a bar chord, you have to know where is the bass. This is and, and, and on the low E string and the A string, you're gonna play the basses. So this is why it's really important to know on the low E and the A string uh, the notes. So yeah, let's continue with the A string. So this is A note, B note, C, D, E, F, G, and A again. So this is the only thing what you have to know. And now we can talk about this technique. For this technique, I'm using the octaves. If there is an F note here with my third finger on the D string, so I have to skip a string and on the next string, you will find the same note. So this one will be an F note again. From the A string, if you have to find an octave, the fingering gonna be the same. So first finger, third finger, and you have to skip a string. So this is a B flat note, this will be the B flat as well. From the D string, the fingering will be first finger and fourth finger, and you have to skip a string. So in this case, the, I will skip the G string. From the G string, the finger is going to be the same. First finger, fourth finger, and you have to skip a string. So I use this technique all the time when I have to find a note. So here is an F note. Here is another F note because we learned that the octave is one, three, and skip a string. The next step is put your first finger on the D string F note. And uh, from the D string, you have to play another octave. It goes like this, because we learned one, three, one, three, and from the D string, one, four, the fingering. So here will be another F note. And because we learned the notes on the low E and the A string, you can do the same thing from the A string. So here is an F note. The octave gonna be one three because from the A string is one three and skip a string. And now let's put your first finger when your third finger was and play another octave from the G string. And from the G from the G string, the octave gonna be one four. So the only thing what you have to remember is the octave is from the low E string 1, 3, A string 1, 3, from, from the D 1, 4, from the G 1, 4, every time you have to skip a string. So, and the great thing in this technique is you can use this technique in the opposite way. So for example, you don't know which note is this, but you would like to know. You can go down, so 1, 4, I mean 4, 1, and 3, 1. And because we learn the notes on the low E and A string, now we know that this note is a G sharp or A flat note. I think it's a great technique what you have to use every time when you have to find the same note but on the other place on the fretboard. So let's do one more example. Let's say you are looking for another C note. 
So, oh, C note here, one, three, skip a string. On the G string, the C gonna be here. And let's put your first finger on the G string C note and do another octave. And uh, from the G string, it's one, four. So here gonna be the next C note, and you have to do the same thing from the low E string. So first finger, third finger, skip a string, and put your first finger when your third finger was, and do the same. One, four, because from the D string, the octave is one, four, the fingering I mean, and you have to skip a string every time. So, let me know in the comment section what do you think about this is this useful did you did you find it useful and if you have any questions about this just leave a comment and um, give it a like share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you so much for watching see you in the next video bye